and welcome to our debut video demonstration here at JFW on YouTube. This is the first of what I hope will be many videos demonstrating our latest hardware, firmware, and test software abilities. The goal is to give you a place you can go to see what we're working on and the newly available features we are capable of designing into your requirements. I am Calvin Kerner, design engineer here at JFW Industries, and I'm going to talk to you today about our test software and all of its features that we make available standard for all of our test systems. We are constantly evolving our offering and what we make standard, taking the brilliant features requested by a specific customer and then oftentimes making it available for all customers. Chances are, a year from now, this video will already be obsolete but my plan is to highlight any new specific features in a separate video later on and just use this as the base to get you up and running and familiar with the basic interface. I'm going to be using a sample test program we have available on our webpage and I will quickly show you where to go to find it and be able to play with it as well. If you do not yet have a JFW test system this generic program will allow you to see all of our standard features that you can expect should you hopefully choose us for your RF solutions. If you do have a JFW test system already, this generic test program should look very similar to what came with your system. So if you like, pause the video as I go through the next steps showing you where to get our sample software and follow along with me for the remainder of the demonstration. Okay, so from any internet browser we're going to go to JFW Industries webpage and we're going to go to the test system section. This first one in the upper left picture here. Here we have all of our different test systems that we offer and then uh, down here we have some extra information including the sample test system program page. So click on that. And here are the three links for all of the different test system programs that we offer. Programmable attenuator assemblies includes handover systems and transceiver test systems. RF switch assemblies and RF matrix switches have their own test programs. And then down below here are some screenshots with some callouts detailing some of the features in the test program. So click on the test program link and install it to a known location and uh, I'll see you in the next section. And here we are. There's a lot going on here so let's take a few seconds and talk about what we have. Firstly, up at the top, here you can customize the program based on the programmable attenuators that you will use. In this case, I have it set to control up to eight attenuators with an attenuation range of 0 to 127 dB and a dB step size of 1 dB. Changing any of these values will automatically update other fields in the program. Next, we have the connection setup section. Our controller supports both Ethernet and RS-232, so we make them both available here in the test software. The COM port drop-down box scans your computer's available COM ports and allows you to select the one that is connected to the test system. In this case, there is only one COM port on this computer. We support three baud rates for your convenience, 9600, 19200, and 38400. In your actual JFW test system, the last used baud rate is saved to flash memory and recalled on power up. Similarly, when you close this test program, a text file is created with the last baud rate used and recalled when you reopen the program, as well as other settings, such as the last COM port and the last IP address. 
I'm going to talk about the Ethernet configuration feature in a later video, but for now just know that this is where you go when you want to program the Ethernet settings for your test system. Change the IP address, gateway, or netmask. Next, we have the remote command section. This will vary from system to system based on what commands are used or requested by you. The more complicated commands, like fade attenuator, variable handover, and set multiple attenuator, have their own windows to help program the commands. Set multiple attenuator, for example, lets you set multiple attenuators to different values at the same time. It is very useful for MIMO testing, where groups of attenuators need to be set simultaneously. The drop-down boxes are populated by the allowed attenuation settings. or you can type them in manually. Then just hit the send SMA command and the command is sent. The drop down box at the bottom keeps a history of the last commands that were sent and it's also very convenient for going in between previous commands that were sent. So in this case I have two SMA commands and I can select between which ones I want. Every time I select a command from the drop-down box, it automatically sends the command. Note that not all remote commands have their own button. Some of them have to be manually typed in, such as the IDN command, which is the default setting when the test program opens up. The GUI typed commands also have a drop-down box showing a history of the previous typed GUI commands. Moving on, we also have a GUI key press. This allows you to quickly step through the values of a single attenuator. The GUI handover testing section I will also explain in much greater detail in a future video, as it is a very powerful way of running custom tests. And finally, at the bottom, are just a couple of text fields that show you the most recent commands that were sent, right here, and also the received response from the JFW test system. And that's about it. The JFW test software is a means to give you the ability to be up and running the moment you unbox your new test system without any extra setup or programming on your part. Again, we would like to thank all of our customers who have requested some of the specific features shown here and making our standard test software what it is today.